So, uh, today is the second day. Um, what I'm gonna end up doing today is primarily um, looking at flows and looking at different types of apps that are already out there and try and come up with some, uh, some cool ideas, try and maybe sketch some ideas down and yeah, sort of take it from there. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, but I want to explore the city a little bit. Um, and once I've done that, I can then go back to being a little hermit and uh, or a recluse and just go back to making stuff in my uh, Airbnb. <laughs> So I've uh, explored the city a little bit, um, I've had some food and now I think it's time to grab a coffee before we go back and uh, crack on with these user flows. Um, so now I've got to find somewhere for a coffee. Boom. Finally got some coffee. So now we have one of the most essential ingredients for the designer. We can crack on with some additional ideas but before we do that let's recap a little bit about what we did yesterday so yesterday we looked at sort of the data mapping and, da and thinking about all the different types of data points that we want to include within this application um, of course all of that is very loose it's there's not set in stone it's gonna probably gonna change it's it's yeah it's very useful because it's like everything in my brain and I've just dumped it out on a, on a page and, and I can see it all in a very clear and concise way. And I've tried to categorize different parts of that data as well as you can see. Um, you can also take a look at that in the description if you want to view the whole piece. Um, but today is all about creating uh, and solidifying all of that data into one user flow. So something which you, you can easily navigate and that you can also um, yeah, lay out in a, a concise way. So two things, I want to create some user flows and then I wanna go ahead and try and create some sketches and, 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 and create some ideas. And I'm a very visual person, so I really wanna just try and get as much ideas down on paper as possible um, whilst I'm, I'm caffeined up for, for, for the day. So let's go and give that a try and um, see what I can come up with and uh, let's review uh, after I've got some stuff down. So yeah, cool. So what I've got here is a very loose um, sort of flow, user flow. And what I've ended up doing is uh, segmenting all of the sections or what I envisage sections in my head and uh, categorize them in, in alphabetical order. Now the reason why I do this is primarily because it's a lot easier now to sketch up ideas and reference particular sections of the app um, uh, without causing a lot of confusion. So that's primarily the, the point of doing this, this exercise as well is to kind of tie up the initial data mapping that we did and um, try and put something together which uh, yeah pulls in all that stuff. And 
it's very empty actually this process i like to keep it very simple very non-complex and the reason for that is because i find it so much easier than when i go into this the sketching side of things and, and coming up with concepts and ideas and feature ideas i've just got a very loose framework and and i want I like to have the ability to change things later on in the process. I don't want to be restricted too much now. Um, I think if I really went down into depth into every single screen here and, and, and really smashed it out of the park in terms of going into the absolute detail, I just think it would be wasted, wasted time because you come up with a lot more ideas actually when you, when you create sort of sketches and, and, and go through that whole process. So. This is great. I'm, I'm happy with it so far. I think it's I think it's fine. Um, I've gone into a little bit of detail when it comes to uh, signing up and logging in and going through the 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 onboarding process. And the onboarding process is is an interesting one because I thought about exactly what you need to go through in order to get this app up and running. So it's going to need to know your location. It's going to need to send you notifications um, as I spoke to about an earlier episode about um, potentially sending you a notification to uh, buy a particular SIM card um, in a particular airport and then select your top five essential things. Now this is a feature idea I've had which is um, as a user you can select what is the most important things to you because I've spoken to a few friends and they've uh, who are who are also uh, nomadic entrepreneurs or digital nomads and they've said that um, you know, they all say different things, what's important to them. Uh, some people it's, uh, yeah, it might be uh, finding the telecom provider, it might be finding a particular hotel or an Airbnb or an apartment or, or something like that. Different neighborhoods, uh, coffee shops and so on and so forth. So you can select almost your top five things. And at that point it will become like, those would be the priority modules, if you like, the, that sort of, that's the way I'm thinking about it anyway. And then you've got currency and country, which is uh, important because if we're gonna talk about currencies, we're gonna need to know what currency you have. Um, and we're gonna need to know what country you're from because there might be visa requirements that differ for say UK uh, citizens versus uh, Brazilian citizens, for example. They're gonna, there's gonna be different, different visa requirements for different countries. So I've thought about that, um, but onboarding again is um, that could be a feature in itself. At the end of this project, what we could do is literally take one of these sections and 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 run with it, um, and just get that done for the for the time frame that we've got. I think what I'm going to focus on though primarily is going to be. I'm going to come up with ideas for all of it, of course. Um, and then I think in terms of thinking about what I want to achieve in terms of an MVP, I think maybe we're going to look at section two, which is the explorations and the overview states. And then maybe a little, maybe one or, or two uh, sort of ideas in section three A, which is um, maybe the direct flights or visas or neighborhoods so yeah this is what I'm thinking of at the moment um, in terms of yeah this this initial flow but I also would like to look at other people's apps in this field and try and do some research and have a look around and see if there's any other inspiring uh, apps and maybe because it's a bit later in the day now I might just Kind of put that in a folder somewhere and then look at it with fresh eyes in in, in the morning and, and crack on with that so let me look at some inspiration and then um yeah maybe maybe we'll we'll wrap it up for today <laughs>